Hey guys, how are you doing today? I'm doing pretty fantastic. Thank you for asking. I know the title's a little bit scary, but just for context, I'm okay now. I'm just gonna get right into it. I hope that's okay with you. Um, what happened? That was a casual Monday morning. I woke up a little bit late, kind of slept in, and I was like, all right, cool, it's fine. You know, I'll do a light workout. So I had my pre-workout and I went to the gym and I got there. I started doing chest, I started doing triceps. And as I was, you know, it was very light. It was a very light workout, very quick. I think I did that in like 15 minutes and then I was gonna do 15 minutes on the treadmill and then head back because I had to stream. So I step up on the treadmill and I stood there for a moment and something didn't feel right. I was like, ow. It was so weird because it like didn't hurt but something felt wrong. I wasn't even on the, I stepped onto the treadmill. It was not moving. So nothing, nothing had happened. And I was debating like, do I, do I run anyway? Do I walk? Do I go home? What, what do I do? Something just kept telling me that I needed to go home. So I was like, okay, I'll go home. Okay, I'll go home. So I get in my car and I start driving home. And when I'm driving, it hits me. Like I, it felt like my brain was struck by lightning. It hurt so bad that I start sobbing and I start like, you know, trying to breathe and like control my breathing. And I was like, what is happening? What is happening? All I could think was, I think I just had an aneurysm um, or like an aneurysm popped or something, some aneurysm. That's all I was thinking about was aneurysm. I drive home miraculously, which is kind of stupid on my part, but I, I get home, I pull into the garage, I go inside and I just lay on the ground. I don't even take my shoes off. I just lay on the ground and I just start sobbing like big cries. <laughs> and my roommate hears and was like, are you good? And I was like, no, it was so bad. It just, it was my left side of my brain. I was trying to pull my hair out with how bad it was. I've never felt a headache like that in my entire life. And I get headaches quite a lot, quite a lot. And I have never experienced that at all, ever. So I'm laying on the ground and he's trying to convince me to go to the hospital and I don't want to because COVID and also hospitals and also health insurance. I do have health insurance, but I, you know, it's one of those things where it's like, is it actually gonna be covered? Or are they gonna charge me like six months down the line? You know, the pain's not getting worse, but it's not getting better. And so I finally decided like, yeah, take me to a hospital, take me to a hospital. So it takes me to a hospital. I walk in and I am holding my head like this just holding it and I'm just trying to breathe and I walk in and there's a man in front of me waiting in line and they ask him like oh wh why are you here what are you here for and this man as I'm like you know trying not to like have my brain bleed out of my nose this man goes oh I'm I'm endangered of myself and then starts to tell them that he was not thinking properly he was not thinking good and he was thinking of not being you know on the earth anymore. They tell him to go sit down. So then, then I was next and I could barely talk. My whole body was shaking. My head was, you know, bleeding. It wasn't, but you know. And they asked like, oh, what's wrong? And I was like, my, my head, my head. I was at the gym, everything was fine. And then I stepped up to run on the treadmill and I just got a horrible, horrible, the worst headache I've ever had. I don't know, it's only on my left side. I don't know what's wrong, I don't know what's wrong. And they were like, oh, so you have a headache? And I was like, I tried to explain, like I had a very light workout. It was, I was trying to be specific. I was like, I didn't do a whole lot. I did like two chest exercises and two tricep exercises. And it was very light because I was trying to make it quick. And you know, trying to explain all this while going like this and shaking like this, you know, it was not a good time. But you know, they listened and they wrote it down and they're like, okay, go have a seat. And so I went and sat down and my whole body was shaking. And at this point, um, my roommate got in contact with my mom and my mom was calling me like, what, what's going on? What's going on? And I'm like, I don't know what's going on. I, I think I ju I'm dying right now. I feel like I'm dying. I feel like I'm dying. And I was supposed to stream that day and I knew people were gonna be waiting for me to stream and I didn't know what was gonna happen. I didn't know if like, you know, I was gonna have to get like a CAT scan, MRI, or go into a hospital hospital, like go into a room and you know, they're gonna do like open my brain. I didn't know what was gonna happen. So I tweeted, hey, I'm in the hospital. <laughs> like I, was, I was freaking out and I was scared and I was alone. And, and you know, it's a, what my brain, you know, it's in a, it's in a skull, like what? There's no like, oh, is my skin, did I get a cut on my skin? Why is my skin hurt? It's like, you know, it's scary. So I was freaking out. My mom calling me was freaking out. And you know, all my friends were like, what, what is happening? And I'm like, I don't know what's happening. It's great, I love this. So they finally call me back and I go get weighed and they take my blood pressure and everything. And that was all normal. And they're like, okay, go sit back down. I was like, 
okay. So I went and sat back down, waited some more, waited some more. And the pain at this point, it was still bad, but it wasn't as bad as it was, which was making me feel like I didn't even need to be there. In my head, I was like, I'll just pop like three Advil and I'll be good to go and I can go home, right? It was also embarrassing. Like, do you know how embarrassing it is to go to a hospital? <laughs> like, I, I, ooh, help me. Like, I just, ugh, I don't know. I don't, it just, I, I don't know. They call my name and I go into the back and they're like, hey, can you pee in this cup? And uh, so we can make sure you're not pregnant because you're not pregnant, right? And I was like, no, I'm not pregnant. They're like, okay, pee in this cup. I was like, all right. So I go into the room and they start, um, you know, taking my vitals and stuff. And then they bring out a needle and like, okay, we're going to put this in your arm and blah, 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 blah. So I had like this, this whole little thing put into my arm. They put in like a needle, then they put in like a plastic tube to go into my arm. And that's where they're, they put in like all kinds of, they started drawing blood. I didn't even know they were drawing blood. I looked over and saw blood and I was like, mm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So they take like a ton of vials of blood. And then she's like, okay, um, how bad is your headache right now on a scale of one to 10? I was like, well, earlier it was a 10. Right now it's maybe about like a six and a half. She crushed up. She told me what medicine it was. I have no idea what it was. She's like, I'm going to put in like this medicine, blah, blah, blah. And it should help with the pain. And I was like, okay. And then also too, they, they kept asking, have you thrown up yet? And I said, no. They asked if I was nauseous. I said, yes. I did feel like I was going to throw up at one point, but we all know me. Vomit's my biggest fear. And will I ever throw up? No. If I have a choice in it, which most of the time I do, I will not throw up. I won't. My body refuses. So after the nurse did all like the, this stuff, they left like the thing in my arm, I guess for later on, to, cause I was going to get two CAT scans to check my brain. Um, and so it felt, I couldn't bend my, I felt like I probably could bend my arm, but I felt like I couldn't bend my arm. So my hands started getting really cold and it was just, it was weird. And then I was laying in there and I started having an anxiety attack because I was like, my head hurts, the lights hurt, everything hurts. I could hear people screaming outside like the hallway and like I'm in a hospital during COVID time, you know, I was like, oh my God. So I was waiting and waiting and waiting waiting. The doctor came in and he's like, okay, so tell me like what's going on. So you were running on the treadmill and you heard a pop and now you're, and then your head hurt. And I was like, no, I was like, I, I was working out and I stood up to go on the treadmill and then I felt like a dull pain-ish kind of thing. And then all of a sudden out of nowhere, it was like the most painful headache I've ever had. Just on the left side, it, it felt like I was getting like stabbed and, and like my brain was getting ripped apart, like lightning, ice pick, all of it. It felt like all of it, it was, it was the worst headache. I was like, it's, it feels worse than a headache. Like, I don't, I don't know. And he was like, okay, so um, you weren't, you weren't running as fast as you could and you didn't hear a pop and I was like no and he's like well that's what the nurses wrote and I was like I never said that I was like huh <laughs> like I never I never said that I think I would have said that if that's what was happening because if you hear a pop in your head that's a problem he then said like okay well I don't think it's it's an aneurysm but we want to we'll do a cat scan just to get you know just to make sure so we were going to do the two cat scans and then he said also I would like to do an epidural to get the liquid surrounding your brain to see if there's blood. At this point, I was panicking because um, I've read so many things about epidurals. Epidurals scare me. I thought they were only for like pregnancy, but they would stick a needle into my spine, go up my spinal cord into my brain, and then get fluid to see if there's blood. You can't tell me that doesn't freak you out a little bit. At this point, the medication kicked in and I didn't have a headache at all. My body felt great. I had no back pain. I had no head pain. I had no abdabadabada ab pain. There was no pain. And I was like, I could go home now. <laughs> I didn't say that, but I was thinking, I'm like, I'm fine. Whatever she gave me, I feel fine. But it was concerning because that's the worst headache I've ever had and it came on so fast and so hard and so I agree to do the CAT scans but the epidural I was like I won't I don't know and he's like well CAT scans they pick up like 99% of what's going on in your head but you know the epidural like I want to just I want to make sure but my gut was telling me that I probably didn't need it I just I didn't feel like I needed it so I told him like I, I didn't really want to do the epidural but I was down for the CAT scans and he was like are you sure are you sure? Like he really wanted to do it. I was like, I, I, I don't want to. And then here's the kicker. You ready? So the nurse comes in, Dr. Leaves, nurse comes in. She's like, Hey, so have you thought about it? Like, did you, I, cause I told him I want to think about it. She's like, have you thought about it? Do you want to do it? And I was like, well, does it hurt? Which also keep in mind pain. I have a pretty high pain tolerance, right? Which is why it was like me going to a hospital for head pain. It was like, I was out of, blew my mind. Like I do. <laughs> 
hunt. Anyway, like I, I never ever would. That's how you know it was bad was because I was like, yeah, okay, let's go to the hospital. And so I asked, I was like, oh, does it hurt? Like, you know, because I, I don't know. I don't know why I asked if it hurt, but like I can deal with pain, but it's just, you know. Um, and she pauses and she goes, well, there's a pinch. The last time a doctor told me it, when I asked, like, does it hurt? They said it's a pinch was when I got my birth control, my IUD put in. And that, out of every pain I've ever experienced, that is the most painful thing I've ever gone through. Ever. I've broken my tailbone. I've kind of almost broken my foot and popped all of my toes out of socket and then put them back in accidentally. I've done a lot of things that have hurt. I've given myself concussions. I've done all kinds of stuff. Nothing hurt as bad as the IUD. IUD, that headache tailbone. So the last time I was told it was a pinch, it was worse than a pinch. So when she, not only did she say it was a pinch, she paused. And so I was like, all right, you know what? No, no epidural, no epidural. I'm good. I'll just do the CT scan. I'll just, no epidural. We're fine. We're fine. So she leaves, you know, with all my blood, urine samples, everything. She leaves. And I'm waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. And then they come in with a wheelchair and they're like, okay, ready to go? And I was like, Okay. Also too, I had to undress. So I only had to take off my shirt though. And I asked, I was like, well, I have a sports bra on. Like, is that okay? They're like, oh yeah, that's fine. They come in, I have like a little cloak on. They come in and I get into the wheelchair and then they wheel me out. And the guy was like super nice. Be like, oh, boop, 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 coming on through. Ha ha ha. You know, just, you know, wheeling me into a room, I guess. So I'm sitting in a corner, just waiting and waiting and waiting. And then this guy comes in with a nurse and he's like holding like a, a bag or something. And she's like, okay, we'll bring your bed in in, in a minute. And he's like, okay. So he's, like, there's curtains between us and so like I'm over here in a wheelchair just like and then there's a curtain and then this guy's over here and then they bring in like a, a bed with a rolly bed and then he lays down on it and then the nurse leaves and then all of a sudden this guy just starts going oh, oh, oh help me oh I was sitting there like somebody want to help me my, I know what you're thinking, like, oh no, Kate, what's happening? My biggest fear, what if this dude throws up? I know, that's so dumb. Not, oh, Kate, what if he goes crazy? What if he attacks you? I can handle myself, it's fine. I got a wheelchair, I'll throw the wheelchair at him. I can stand up, like, if... <laughs> my fear was he throws up, um, which, my biggest fear, so I don't know what you were expecting. So he's just moaning and groaning, and then, like, one of the CT scan nurses, like, they come out of the room, and he goes, oh hey like even louder help me oh oh okay so he's doing that and then this old this very old man comes out and he's ta you know talking with the nurse like talking and joking his back is facing me and he's wearing the same gown that i am but he is not wearing any clothes none so i'm meted by a full moon of an old man i just see crack and wrinkles and I was like ooh. so either I could turn my attention toward man over here moaning and groaning and screaming or I could pay attention to the full moon with wrinkles and you know neither were good options so instead I just looked down at my hands yeah so this guy's moaning and groaning and then this guy goes and the the nurse or something was like hey you should probably go get changed because you're not wearing any clothes and he's like oh, oh oh you're right and so he leaves to go get changed and this guy oh help me help me hey help me finally a nurse comes in wheels him out and then it's just me and I'm like oh thank god god the old guy comes back in fully dressed walks past me or like walks past where the guy was walks over to me and is like that guy looked really really sick he looked really bad maybe he had the coronavirus do you know what you know what you gotta take vitamins my son-in-law blah, blah 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 and he started talking 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 he's like you gotta take vitamin d e zinc and c and like those are all the things i take so i was like uh-huh who was this guy he was acting like a doctor or a nurse and i just saw his double double cheeked up booty cheeks but i was just like you know nodding and listening being like uh-huh oh yeah and he's like oh yeah you, you take take you gotta do this and you gotta do this what are you in here for and i was like oh i just i have a really i have a really bad headache um he's like oh you know what helps that acupuncture and he's like yeah also too if you if you like pinch your your hand right here you pinch it really hard it makes the headache go away and i was like 
thank you sometimes though if you pinch hard enough that will start start hurting and then your head will stop hurting <laughs> but also so the vitamins for the coronavirus so if you, you just kept going it's like for the vitamins if you take zinc you take it in liquid form which you know funny enough blew my mind because i do take it in liquid form because mostly because i can't swallow the pill i struggle with swallowing pills but um i was like oh yeah i do take it in liquid form he's like oh then you already know and i was like yeah and he goes okay and then walked off i was like what what <laughs> so he leaves and then a few minutes later the other nurse comes in and he's like hey you ready you ready to go for the ct scan i was like yeah he's like have you ever done it before and i was like no he's like okay so basically what's gonna happen he starts you know explaining he's a very nice guy um he's like can you can you stand up i was like oh yeah yeah so i like lay down on the thing and he goes okay let's scoot up a little bit more i was like okay he's like you can keep your eyes open you can keep them closed uh just don't move and i was like all right he's like you're not pregnant i was like nope basically what's gonna happen is it's gonna it's gonna go and then afterwards we're gonna put i think he said iodine in my because i still had this thing in it was still in so he said well, i'm gonna he's like i'm gonna put that in and i was like okay <laughs> okay if the camera changed i ran out of space on my sd card which i cannot tell you when the last time has happened i don't know when the last normally my battery always dies this time the sd card ran out so that's cool anyway where was i oh so the nurse guy was explaining like okay so the first scan we're just going to do regular and then the second one i'm going to put iodine in your your drip thing and i was like okay so we do the first one and it wasn't too bad but i you know i had a little bit of anxiety and so i was like you know i was a little nervous so i was just thinking like uh, same thor so i was thinking smooth like butter like criminal undercover <laughs> i just kept repeating bts in my head so i was like if something happens like what if you know what if like it shows up on on the scan and like you know what if i start forgetting things i want to remember bts and you know okay don't you want to remember like your mom <laughs> bts <laughs> hmm, bts the first one is finished the first the first scan gets done he's like okay great so now i know so now we're gonna put in the iodine or whatever and he's like but first i'm gonna put in saline to so like clean clear it all out and I was like okay he's like it's gonna feel a little bit cool and I was like okay so he squishes it in my arm and it feels weird if like my this little part of my arm felt cold and I was like ooh he's like it's weird right and I was like yeah he's like okay so the the iodine basically what's gonna happen is it's because they took a block underneath my head so instead of my head being propped up it was like tilted back now like while I was laying down and he was like so what's gonna happen is you're gonna feel really hot so I'm gonna put it in and like in 30 seconds you're gonna feel really hot you're gonna feel really hot like in your mouth and in your crotch area and I was like okay he's like and it's gonna feel like you peed yourself oh okay <laughs> I've literally never heard of this before and so he's like okay you ready and I was like I guess so he puts it in he's like okay 30 seconds from now and I was like okay so I'm laying there and I'm just not moving and I'm like trying to count but I'm also nervous so I'm just going smooth black butter like a criminal undercover that's all i could think of was done like job didn't make any sweat like that do 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 give it all, it all to my mother and then i feel it and when he said it was hot it was weird dude it was weird because it felt like like hot like here i felt it kind of go here and then my mouth felt like hot like the back of my mouth felt hot and then it like i got like a weird like taste but there was no taste and then i felt like i peed myself like it got so hot down there it got i was like this is so weird it was so weird and so I just kept laying there going smooth like butter, like okay, smooth like butter, smooth like butter. I slowly get pulled out. I had my eyes closed so I could just, you know, imagine BTS. And so I, you know, he pulls me out and he's like, how was it? Are you good? And I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. He's like, did it feel hot? And I was like, yeah, it's really weird. And he's like, yeah, it usually is. I was like, okay. So then like I get back into the wheelchair and he wheels me back out. And then I'm back in that same spot I was before. And I'm waiting, 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 waiting. I know Thor. Waiting, 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 waiting. So then I get wheeled back into my room and then I'm laying there. The nurse comes in and says, okay, we're waiting on your results. Are you sure you don't want to do the... Where are you going? So then the nurse is like, are you sure you don't want to do the needle thing? The doctor really wants to. And I was like, I really don't want to. So like 45 minutes goes by and then my CAT scan results come back in and the doctor comes in with them and he's like, hey, so we looked at your, you know, your head and everything. Everything's good. All of it's fine there's nothing he was like i really would like to do the epidural so we could just make sure that there's nothing but if you don't want to then i guess there's nothing we can do and you probably just had a migraine and i was like i've 
I think I've had migraines before. This was not that. Because for me, migraines, I can feel them coming on and I can take like painkillers to help lessen it when I feel it coming on. This, there was no, there was no. It was like, ow, something feels wrong. And then done, dead. I've never felt something like that before. I went to a hospital for it. And so when he said like, oh, have you ever had migraines before? And I was like, yeah. And he's like, well, they are probably just really bad headaches. And you probably have, he said, you probably have the next thing up. So there's chronic migraines. You may get critical migraines. And I was like, great. So not only do I get headaches and migraines, I also get critical migraines. Then I got sent home and that was it. I have, I've had headaches since then. Um, I had one yesterday and uh, nothing compares to that. So I don't know what happened. Nothing triggered it. They asked about my pre-workout and I told, I told them like I've taken the same pre-workout for like four years. I only do half of a scoop. Uh, I don't need more than that. And I, I've only ever done more accidentally and um, I drink water, you know, I don't eat in the morning, but I have never been affected by that. And, uh, it was just, it was one of those just weird things that happened, which is unfortunate. But the good news is there's nothing wrong with my head. I have no like secret tumors. There's no secret aneurysms that I don't know about. There's no secret nothing. There's, you know, I'm, my brain's completely healthy. Well, <sighs> minus the trauma, but that's a whole other thing. And also too, I got all my blood results back and my blood is completely healthy. There's nothing wrong with me. I'm completely healthy. So the good news is there's nothing wrong with me. The bad news is I have critical migraines and they can come without warning. And they completely debilitate, is that the word? They kill me, essentially. Not really, I'm alive, but I'm dead. Anywho, Thor is begging to get in here, but that's what happened, that's why I went to the hospital, that's my hospital story. If you're ever in so much pain, don't try to stick it out, even if it's something, because I felt so dumb. I was like, these doctors think I'm wasting their time and I even said, I was like, I just feel dumb that I came in here and it's just a migraine, like. But he told me, he's like, I mean, it could have been more. It, it could have been more. And he's like, and this is, because I told him, I was like, this is the worst headache I've ever had, ever. He was, you know, he was very understanding. He didn't seem like angry or like annoyed, but I, I just felt dumb, you know? That's, that's a me thing. Um, I feel like I'm a burden onto everyone. So <laughs> anyway, I'm working through that with therapy. But besides the point, um, that's what happened. Um, I'm glad that I found out everything's good. I'm glad nothing is like actually wrong. It sucks that I have, you know, critical migraines <laughs> that just happened but uh hopefully i don't ever experience it again but if i do i at least know what it is do you think if it happens again i could go get whatever medicine they gave me because that worked great <laughs> i'm not afraid of needles so i'll be like just put it in me susan just put it in i'm gonna go anyways uh thank you for watching my video hope you have a fantastic day and i'll see you tomorrow goodbye